It's currently at $77.09 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate it can go up to $110.57 a share in the next 12 months. Hey guys, today we're going to do a stock analysis on ConMed Corporation. And this stock is a, well I would call it a fundamentally sound stock that's reached its 52 week low. Um, I actually rate my fundamentally sound stocks in three tiers. The highest tier is a three star. The second tier is a two star. And the lowest tier is a one star. That means I still consider it fundamentally sound but I consider it the least of the fundamentally sound on my watch list. This is a one star that has reached its 52 week low. It's currently at $77.09 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate it can go up to $110.57 a share. In the next 12 months now as you see it dropped one two three each of these candles represents a week there was three big weeks where it dropped went sideways a little bit went down a little dropped two more weeks a big candle here small candle here now we're in the first two days of the week and it's moved up a little. It's covered the room that it dropped last week. Now let's take a look at a daily chart. And when we look at the daily chart, we see this big one week drop. Then it sort of went sideways. It dropped a little, but sort of sideways. And then, then Monday, we see that it moved up. We see sort of a doji today. So let's see where this stock goes. If we look at the weekly chart, we want to see if it keeps going sideways, goes down, or if it starts to move up. In any event, if you look in the description of this video, I will be dropping the link to this video, ConMed's History of Innovation, which is a video which explains the history of ConMed and exactly what they do. So that we're not just looking at the numbers here, but you can know more about the company as well. So before we jump into the fundamentals on this stock, um, I want to mention that this stock was chosen from my This Week Stock Winners series, which I put out every week, showing which stocks, fundamentally sound stocks at their 52-week low, are moving sideways or starting to move up. I also do a This Month's Option Pick, where from This Week's Stock Winners, I pick one stock, which is going to be the option pick, and I actually buy it so that you can follow it in the series and see how it's doing. Now, if you go to Uncle Dwayne's watch list, my YouTube channel, you will see a link for Patreon. And when you go to that link for Patreon, I actually have this week's option picks where every week or about every week, if the, if the opportunity is there, an option is picked, I actually purchase it so you can actually see its progress over time. When you go to um, the Patreon link, and if you join, 
it's $25 a month. You will then have access to this week's option picks instead of this month's option pick. Also, for those who are in my Patreon, I also give them access to a WhatsApp group. And the purpose for that is because when I'm telling you which options you could buy or whatever the case is, I usually do the videos at night, sometimes in the morning, but usually at night when time allows. However, for those who are in the WhatsApp group, I can drop notifications all day. So if a stock becomes available or an option becomes available, I can let you know about it as soon as it becomes available. I can always drop a notification wherever I am to let you know about things going on in the market. So if you go into the Patreon group and you sign up for this week's winning stock, winning um, this week's option picks, like I said, it's only $25 a month. Make sure that you email me at Uncle Dwayne's Watchlist at gmail.com. Send your name and your phone number so that I can add you to the WhatsApp group. Doesn't matter if it's an American number, international number, because it's WhatsApp, so all will apply. <clears throat> Having said that, let's jump into the fundamentals for this stock. Okay, so we're at ConMed Corporation, ticker symbol CNMD, and we want to start off by looking at the earnings per share for this stock. In 2019, it was 97 cents a share. In um, in 2020, it was 32 cents, so it actually declined some. But that was the COVID year, that was COVID lockdowns. In 2021, it increased to $1.94. Now, I'm not sure what happened in 2022, but in 2022, it was a negative year. It was negative $2.68. Then in 2023, it went up to $2.04. And in 2024, which is not completed yet, it's projected to be $2.04. Could end up being less, could end up being more. But it's currently projected at $2.04. So, Let's look at the high and the low prices for these years. In 2019, the stock price at its low price was $58.25. At its high, it was $112.47. In 2020, COVID year again, at its low, it dropped to $38.59, but at its high, it was at $110.14. In 2021, at its low, it was at $108.70. At its high, it was at $154.02. In 2022, at its low, it was at $71.96. At its high, it went up to $151.67. In 2023, at its low, it was at $88.87. At its high, it went up to $135.54. So the high declined from the previous year. And in 
2024 at its low so far, $75.36, and its high is projected to be $110.57, another decline from the high of the previous year. So we want to see what's going on with this company. That the high share price has been declining for the last three or four years, but 2021 to 22 was only a decline of like $3, but the others were more. So let's look at the high and low PE ratios. Well, more so the low P.E. ratios, because that tells us how far this stock can fall. And actually, ConMed generally has high low P.E. ratios. That means the low P.E. ratios for the year have been higher than other stocks. Other stocks may have 10, they may have 20. But 2019, their low P was 60.05. In 2020, it was 120.59. In 2021, it was 56.03. In 2022, it was negative because they lost money. But in 2023, it was 43.56. And... But so far this year, it's been 36.94. Still high compared to most stocks, but lower than the previous years. So, according to PE, this stock is at its lowest price that it's been in the last five years. Now, we know that's not the case because in 2019, it was at 58. 2020, it was at 38. But by PE, meaning those years, the earnings per share was lower. Now the earnings per share is higher. So by PE, it's at the lowest price that it's been in five years. Doesn't mean that it can't drop lower, but um, just something to consider. Probabilities point towards it possibly moving up. Now, this stock, right now we see it's at $77.09 a share as of today. The current PE is 37.79. But when I caught this stock at the 52-week low, the PE was lowered. It was 36.94. Now it started to move up some. Like I said, Yahoo analysts estimate it can go up to $110.57 in the next 12 months. And this stock has an earnings report coming out on April 24th. Now an earnings report for businesses it's sort of like a report card for children. And if you own stock in that company, it's almost like going to a casino. If the earnings report comes out and it's good, the stock can go up. You can really make some good money that day. And if the earnings report comes out and it's bad, the stock price will go down and you could really lose money that day. In any event, 
Let's look at some of the fundamentals for this stock. So for ComMed, in 2019, they made $955,097,000 in overall sales and revenue. And they retained $28 million. 620000 in profit after paying all expenses. That is only a profit margin of 3%. That is, I would say, considerably small. But the next one is even smaller. They made less revenue that year. Eight hundred and sixty two million four hundred and fifty nine thousand, which was a drop from nine hundred and fifty five million the previous year. And then they retained nine million five hundred and seventeen thousand, which was a profit margin after paying all expenses of 1.10%, even lower than the previous year. But in 20, and remember that was the COVID year. In 2021, they stepped it up. Sales and revenue, 1 billion, 10 million, 635,000. Net income sixty two million five hundred and forty two thousand. That was profit after paying all expenses, which was a profit margin of six point nineteen percent. Not ideal, but better. Remember in twenty twenty two they lost money. So they made one billion. Forty-five million four hundred and seventy-two thousand, more than the previous year. But after paying all expenses, they were negative eighty million five hundred and eighty-two thousand. And in twenty twenty-three, their sales and revenue jumped even more. One billion two hundred and forty-four million seven hundred and forty-four thousand. And of that, they retained 64459000 after paying all expenses. That was a profit margin of 5.18%. 5 .5 now, if we jump down to their return on equity, Not that great. We generally, if we see a return on equity at like 20 or above, we're happy. If we see it about 10, we consider that okay or decent, but we're not ecstatic about it. We'll just accept it. Well, in ComNet's case, 2019, their return on equity was 4.03. In 2020, it was 1.34. It really dropped. 2021, 7.96, a little better. We know they lost money in 2022. So 2022, it was negative. In 2023, it was 7.73. So 21 and 23 were better. Their debt to equity is not great, but decent. 149.85, 147.04. One twenty-four point eighty-five. 
then in 2023, 175.71. We see in 2022, it was high a little bit. We like that debt to equity under 200%, which means that based on their return on equity, and then, I'm sorry, based on their debt to equity, that their balance sheet would not be great, would not be ideal, but would be okay. Their current assets exceeded their current liability or five years and total assets exceeded the total liability all five years. Now let's get to the dividend. This company did pay a dividend in the last five years. Let's look at the total amount they paid out in dividends. In 2019, they paid out 22,600,000 in dividends. In 2020, they paid out 22,818,000. In 2021, they paid out 23,256,000. In 2022, they paid out 23,960,000. And in 2023, they paid out 24,502,000. Now, we like when a company buys back shares of their own stock. And we don't like when they sell more shares of their own stock. Well, ConMed did what we actually don't like, but they only did it for two to five years. They sold 30,567,000 shares worth in 2019. They sold 72 million um, dollars worth in 2022. We're gonna skip current debt and long-term debt because we covered that in the balance sheet. But if we go down to cash flow, we see the company had 75,067,000 in cash flow in 2019, 51,518,000 in 2020, 96,904,000 in 2022, or I'm sorry, in 2021, 11,580,000 in 2022, and 106,316,000 in 2023. Some money left over, end of the year. And actually, when a company pays dividends, they pay that dividend from the free cash flow. So I like to see if a company can afford to pay the dividend that they're paying. And I see that by how much money they have left over after paying the dividend. So after paying the dividends in 2019, they had 52,467,000 left over. In 2020, they had 28,700,000 left over. In 2021, they had 73,648,000 left over. 2022, was a negative year, negative 12,380,000. In 
But in 2023, they was back on track with 81,814,000 left over. Now, the beta of this company, beta tells you how much a stock is moving. Is it moving less than the general market? More than the general market? The general market moves at a beta of one. This company is currently moving at a beta of 1.34. That means it's more volatile. It's moving more than the general market. Their book value is $27.12 a share. And this company has... 30.78 30.78 million outstanding shares. Of those 30.78 million outstanding shares, 0.57%, that's less than 1%, is owned by insiders. Those are employees and people involved with the company. And I never understand get this information from Yahoo Statistics, and I never understand when they do this, but they say institutional ownership is 119.90%. Now, this company gives a dividend on April 5th, but you have to have owned the stock by March 14th to be eligible for that dividend. So it's too late for that. And the PEG ratio is 1.47. The dividend yield is 1.05%. In any event, Mr. Kurt R. Hartman, born 1964, he's probably around 59, is the chairman of the board, president and CEO of ConMed Corp. He was appointed on November 9th of 2014 after being in that position as an interim for four months. So he was there for four months. They found him effective at the job, so they moved him up to the regular chairman, CEO, whatever. In any event, we've looked at this company 2019 through 2023. So if he was appointed in 2014, he's been the CEO for all the five years that we've just analyzed. And ConMed Corp is in the medical devices industry, healthcare sector, Remember, there is a link in the description showing you exactly what the company does. In any event, that's it for this video, guys. You have a great night, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video.